Hi there, I'm Chuck Rosansky and I'm the owner of Mile High Comics Inc. And this particular episode of my video newsletter is going to be about San Diego Comic Con. This is the first in what's going to be a series of newsletters about the convention because I want to document, first of all, all the effort that we're putting into getting ready for the convention and then secondarily what actually happens at the convention and whether or not the effort is worthwhile. This is significant because if we don't do well at the convention this year, I'm done. I just don't want to do this anymore. It's just way too much work. And to some extent, that's what I'm trying to show. Um, this is the calmest and most relaxed that we've ever been on the last day before our truck leaves. The semi is in the loading dock here at Jason Street right now. The driver's off getting lunch. And this bin will be uncoupled here very soon and these boards will be put in the front to keep the comics from jumping out while it's running down the road and then they'll be wrapped with skid wrap the carpets are ready to go they're cutting pad over here right now so that our booth will have nice comfortable flooring inside of it um, flooring for us is pretty important because of the fact that we have four high bins and People have to kneel on the floor in order to actually get inside of a bin. And, you know, you can squat a little bit, but it's better if you can actually kneel on the floor. And so we're going to have nice padded carpet, at least on the insides. So the convention carpet will be on the outside. But when you take a look at this array, I don't think that I'm exaggerating when I say that this is the single largest and most comprehensive array of comics that any comic book company has ever taken to a convention. There are a total of 47 bins of comics here. Each bin holds 2,000, so that's 94,000 comics. And if you take a look at the alphabetic letters as we're going along here, this is just unbelievably comprehensive. We have tried to make it so that if any fan comes by our booth and they bring their want list, they simply cannot walk away without at least having filled some holes. Um, this inventory doesn't go a lot prior to 1983, but it is very substantial from 1983 upwards. Then it goes all the way around. I mean, this is just the letters and the higher letters up here. And they're in the process right now. We have to, whenever we get ready for the convention, First of all, we have to shift everything in order to insert the titles that we've just added, but also we have to then change all the lettering on the outside because however things have shifted around, that's going to determine what we have as regards the need for letters. What you're seeing here with this booth is an evolutionary process. Two years ago, we had it so that when we took these bins out to the convention, we actually had to take the comics out of the bins and stack them on pallets and then ship the bins separately. Then we figured out ways to reinforce the bins with steel so that we could ship them as is. The trouble is, then they became very, very heavy. So if you look down here at the bottom, all of these are now on very expensive casters that both swivel and lock. And all the bins for safety purposes have now been bolted together. So we actually have safety bolts on them. That way if people are opening up multiple drawers at the same time, we don't have a problem with the bins tipping and killing people because that's considered poor form at any convention. Um, so this is working out really well now. Um, but it's taken us four years to get to this point. Also, we did not put this entire inventory together prior to the convention this year. If we had tried to do that, we would have had to have started maybe in January. What we did was we took last year's booth, locked it away in a secure area here at the Jason Street store. Then we augmented the inventory that was remaining from last year dramatically for Denver Comic Con, which was five weeks ago and then we've augmented it by 30,000 more books just since we got back from Denver Comic Con. I mean, I'm telling you, this is crazy. What we have done this year 
exceeds anything that we've ever done. And there's a reason for that. And that is that I want to see really and truly whether the people at the San Diego Comic Con, the people attending the show, want to buy comic books. If they're there because it's sort of an intergalactic county fair and they just want to get, you know, Warner Brothers bags and um, run around and see what the latest movie star is doing, uh, then there's no place for us at San Diego. And I don't really at this point object to it. I had honestly thought that I was done last year and I had a lot of people that begged me to go again. And I took a look at our booth and I said, you know, there were really some improvements that we could have made. There were some things that were site specific to us for why we didn't do very well last year. And I said, okay, so I'm going to give it my best shot here. I'm going to put together an immense inventory. I'm going to have it in a way that's extremely cost efficient, easy to set up. It's going to be a full tractor trailer load, 30,000 pounds, 15 tons is what we're shipping out to the convention. If this don't do it, like I said, I'm done. So if you're coming to San Diego Comic Con, if you collect comics, stop on by. Please look at our bins. At least take a little while. Um, we've lowered an enormous amount of our prices. We lowered them back in April on our website, and we've been knocking those same prices down to where um, a hell of a lot of the comics that are here now are below cover price. I, and then on top of that, um, we have a discount schedule. Um, I think it's down here. Yeah, our base price this year, if you spend up to 30 bucks, it's just cover price. But if you spend 30 bucks, you get 30 off, which takes it down essentially to a $20 bill. If you spend 100 bucks, you get 40 off. And if you spend 200 bucks, so in other words, you're, you're actually spending $100, you get them for half price. Um, and so our base price in here right now is three bucks. Um, so you have tons and tons of comics that are at $3, and uh, you'll be getting those for a buck and a half. I mean, that's it. I cannot carry comics. I can't transport them 2,000 miles across the desert in bins, do all this work, and sell comics for under a buck and a half. If, it, if I can't get a buck and a half for it, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Um, well, the next time that you see me um, in San Diego episode number two, it will be at the show, and we'll be showing you some of the work that we do in terms of actually setting it up. So this is Chuck Rosansky at Mile High Comics Jason Street in Denver, Colorado, and I'll see you real soon.